this is James from Life is Sport Games and I'm going to show you a brief demo of some of the key situations for the Pintar baseball game. The first thing I'm going to demonstrate is when there's a medium base runner on first base and Richardson hits a double. We'll say he rolled a four. His double range is three to six and the die roll was a four. Okay, so we found that Richardson hit a double. Now we find the hit location using the same die roll um, and that would fall right here between three and six and it indicates left field. This is the hit location table. It gives you every possible outcome. So now you know that the left field is the location for the double. Next, you ha you, we already know it's a medium runner on first base. Um, S is slow, M is medium, F is fast. And no new die roll is done. Again, you're using the same die that you used to determine the hit type off of Richardson's card. This is just an odd, even, or double die roll. And so it came off of a four, so it's even. The medium runner that says two, slash two. That doesn't necessarily mean bases for advancement. Um, these indicate that the one stands for if a player has a one, he can take the same number of bases as a hit type. So in this case, a slow runner could take one base on a single and two bases on a double. However, the medium and the fast runners have two, which just symbolizes that they can take one more base than the hit type. In this case, it's a double. So the standard hit, hit allotment is two, the same number of bases as the double. And then he can take an additional base which means he has a chance to score from first. There's an optional rule that you can use. All right, um, I think you can see that. This is a chance to throw out a runner. There's ratings for outfielders for weak, average, and elite. And the stronger the arm, the greater chance they have. So, and this is an optional rule. You can play it straight up where the runner advances and scores from first on the double or you can do a roll and um, I can't do it on here because it's sloped so that it shows up better on camera. If the runner passes the, if you do the roll and the roll is higher than the range for the outfielder then the runner is safe and he scores. If not then he's out and um, so that that's really all there is to base running. Um, the game is designed it's streamlined so that you um, you get your outcome off the batter card, then you get your hit location off the same roll, and then you get the base advancement off the same roll, whether it's odd or even.